So let's say you're in QuickBooks Online and you want to import a journal entry from a spreadsheet. So for example, let's say I have a spreadsheet like this, where I have accounts, debit, credit, description, name, location, class, and it matches pretty much the same thing that the columns in QuickBooks Online have. Now it would be incredible if I could just select all this information uh, copy and then come in here and paste like wouldn't that be amazing however it just doesn't work doesn't matter how you slice it or dice it it just that's not going to work so the alternative to that is to take your spreadsheet and set it up in a format that you can import it using the built-in import feature the the additional fields you would have to add so for example you do need to have account debit and credit those are absolutely required fields Optional would be description, name, location, and class. Um, some people don't have class or location even turned on in their QuickBooks file. So those two might not be that important. So the, 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 the description and name are really the only optional things. And of course, if you want to do location or class, you can do that. But in addition to that, there are two really important fields. One is the journal entry date, and the other one is the journal entry number. And those two fields need to be on your spreadsheet as well. So I'm gonna uh, expand this spreadsheet a little bit so you can see, we'll zoom out a little bit more so you can see a little bit better, there you go. So what I did is I created one more column for date and I made the same date all the way throughout. That way uh, QuickBooks knows that this is all one journal entry. Looks like one journal entry with you know 400 lines. And then we have uh, the other column here, journal entry number the same journal entry number, no, again, so it knows that it's the same single one journal entry. So I had my, my, my columns are in QuickBooks, account, debit, credit, description, name, location, class. Again, only these first three are the required ones, account, debit, credit. They're the only ones that are required. All the other stuff is optional. And of course, you have to have a date and a journal entry number. Those will be required as well. Um, you know, uh, so really what I meant was the required ones are account, debit, credit, date, and journal. Those, those five are required and description, name, class, location are optional. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and save this file. I got to save it as a CSV. It can't be an XLS file. It can't be an Excel file. It needs to be a CSV. If you have this stuff in like Google Sheets, you're going to have to export it as a CSV file. So no matter what, it needs to end up in your computer somewhere as a CSV file. And once you do that, and you have your spreadsheet good to go, you come, uh, you get out of the journal entry, you go into the gear menu, top right of the screen, you click on the gear menu, and then you're gonna go to import data. And then in import data, we're gonna click on journal entries. So we're gonna click on journal entries. And from here, you can download the sample if you wanna look at it or the import guide. I've already covered these things when I was playing with the spreadsheet earlier. Then we're gonna click on browse here and we can click on invoice detail, import or whatever your file is called. It just happens to be the name of my file. And, uh, and then we'll click on next, and then it's gonna ask you to map. So I'm gonna make sure that the journal entry number is mapped to journal entry number. Date is mapped with date. Uh, it's got the correct uh, dating convention or dating formatting. And make sure account, debit, credit. Notice that these have a little star, uh, meaning that these are the required ones that I meant to er mention earlier. Then we have description, name, location, class, and memo all the way in the bottom. Most people don't use that, don't import that. And then we click on next. Then it says one journal entry will be imported. Then I click on complete import. It'll take uh, a minute or less and done. It says nicely done. One out of one journal entry was added. You can click on that and you can actually search through your journal entries. You can click on that journal entry and it will open up the journal entry that we just imported. So a journal entry with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lines, as long as the accounts match and the name matches and class location, as long as all that stuff matches, you can easily import a journal entry using that built-in feature, which is incredible. So happy journal entry importing. I do wanna mention that I co-developed a tool called Right Tool, which is this left navigation bar on the right hand side of the screen is a Chrome extension that adds a whole bunch of functionality. And one of those key functionalities is the ability to feel like you're copy and pasting from a spreadsheet. So for example, there, we added a, a red button here that says paste Excel. If you click on that, um, right tool is gonna create a new pop-up that allows you to copy and paste in that pop-up and then through the verification process, it will let you know whether or not you are ready to 
uh, paste per se into the journal entry. So let me open the journal entry and show you the copy and pasting function. Here we go. So I'm just going to copy and paste account, debits, credits, description, name, location, and class. I don't need to bring date and journal because that's going to be manually entered in there. And I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the end of that journal entry. Here we go. And I'm simply just selecting the data that I want to quote, copy and paste into the journal entry. So I'm just going to copy it and I can do this from Excel or Google Sheets. And then I come in here and remember that I had clicked on paste Excel, that little button in the top. Now I have a little uh, green box here that says paste or drop the CSV file here. So I simply just go in there and do a regular paste. And then this screen, the reason why there's a screen sort of layer on top is because we need to verify that the accounts uh, match, that the names match, all that sort of thing. So we, we want to make sure that there's nothing wrong with the accounts or incomplete on the accounts or the names or the locations or the classes. So it's a pre-verification. All the greens means we're good to go. And then once we're 100% good to go, you click on this button that says paste into QuickBooks and essentially it does almost like a paste. Essentially, we hacked it, let's call it that, uh, a way that we can uh, input all these pieces of information so you can save the journal entry and you don't have to go through the um, CSV creation process and the uh, import process. You can, it almost feels like a natural copy and paste feel. So that's the right tool. I'll put a link to it down to the description so you can experience um, uh, using right tool itself. Uh, to do this and like a hundred other uh, enhancements we added to QuickBooks Online. Thank you.